Hello everybody. Today we're going to do something a little different. We're going to do some cooking with grizzly. And we're making what, well I'm basically just inventing something, but I'm going to call it poor man's chicken parm. Except I don't have parmesan cheese, I got provolone. That's a little bit of leftover uh, ham uh, from a bone-in ham that we had. It's actually what I call knuckle meat. It's the meat closest to the bones, got the most sinew and stuff on there. Just a little extra flavor. Throw in some sauce. Sorry. I'm not used to holding the camera and cooking at the same time. Get a nice mix. So Gemma had chicken nuggets for dinner. So we're going to use some of the chicken nuggets for our chicken parm. Chicken provolone, whatever you want to call Daddy. it. Daddy! Yeah, Gemma. Mama? No, you're not getting more chicken nuggets. You had like six of them. Please. No. Please. A little bit more sauce. Daddy. That's looking a little dry. What we're going to do, we're going to put this. Daddy. Yes, Gemma. In here. I don't know where your necklace is, buddy. Yes! Please? Uh, I still don't know where it is, buddy. All right. What? Gemma, what do you say? What? You just burped everywhere. What do you say? Daddy. Yes. Maybe. What? No, you cannot have that cookie. That's mommy's cookie. Please? All right. There you go. Chicken. You can have that one. Ooh, thank you. Gemma, say hi. Hi. All right, last thing I got to do is put some cheese on there. Oh, good. Oh, good. All right, got to layer that a little bit because I don't want it to spill it's out. Good. It's good. What's well, good? No, you're not getting those. Those are mine. All right, layer of cheese. Now, stand back a little bit, buddy. I'm gonna stick this. Well, we were gonna stick it in there, but it's too tall. So we're just gonna throw it in the oven and come back in, say 15 minutes. All right, there it is. Baked at 350 for 15 minutes. Kind of hard to do this one ending. Definitely with cheese. Delicious.